Columbiana County Career and Technical Center juniors and seniors got an opportunity to meet with businesses, skilled trade unions, military and schools as they prepare for their futures after high school. Nearly 60 organizations sent representatives to talk to students who got a chance to conduct mock interviews and open the door to an opportunity for employment. It's kind of a twofold where the students get that experience because a lot of these are human resource people, so they're professional interviewers, so they give them tips on things they can do better. And plus, then the companies, if they are looking to hire, they kind of get a snapshot at some of our students. We have more from the event in this week's Brain Gain Brief. Brain Gain is sponsored by the Mahoney Valley Manufacturers Coalition, Eastern Gateway Community College, and these coalition members. It's not a hiring event unless they want to. However, it is a good way for our students to meet different kids, or our students to meet different companies and the companies to talk with our kids. We do have colleges as well, so a lot of our students do go on to either a two or four year uh, post-secondary institution. So we do have them here for students to talk to and interact with. And it's just a day for them to meet some of the companies that are out there. We work for Hall Industries, Inc. and we we are looking for more people to come in from the programs to start out as entry-level CNC machinists as well as welders uh, to join our companies. It is really difficult right now to find very good candidates that are willing to show up for the interviews as well as uh, stick around because a lot of people always say it's always greener on the other side, but then they come back and like, oh, well, it wasn't as green. But it is very difficult to find hardworking, willing people to come in and stick around, which is why we like programs like this, because we can find people to bring in who are willing to stay and work for a company. I study information technology, which is everything to do with computers, of how they work and wiring. Uh, I got multiple certifications, and I plan on working in some sort of tech field through college and eventually getting a uh, degree in financial management. And then with that, I will start my own tech business and scale up from there. I'm so glad I came to the Career Center because coming here, all you can do is get something to put on your resume to put you ahead of other uh, employees trying to apply for a job or find out your career because you're always in competition with one another. I wanted to become a labor and delivery nurse because I want to help the moms who have stillbirths, miscarriages, and I want to be able to help them and be there for them because I know not everyone can have a very healthy delivery or even a very healthy child. So I want to be able to be there and help them through all that process. They have a lot of great opportunities here for everyone here, and especially the healthcare, which I have been looking into. I've seen a lot of really well-developed communities here of multiple people coming from all around, from Salem, Alliance, and all that. And they've been really engaging with me, stopping me, and talking to me about how, oh, you're going to be in STNA soon? Well, why don't you give me a call when you are? Why don't you email me when you are? And they're very, it's very uplifting, and it makes me want to go there and stuff, for sure. There's not a very big difficulty hiring. There is sometimes a difficulty keeping people after they've started simply because of the, the demand that the job asks out of you. We work on telecommunications towers. Uh, there's opportunities for guys on the tower as well as guys on the ground who build the sites, who do all the electrical work, um, who without them, we wouldn't even be able to do the tower end of the job. So if you're scared of heights, that's not even going to stop you from being able to come in here and get a job. An advantage here for sure would be I come out with no debt. It's completely free here. I come here every day. It's almost like I'm well rested to go back to school to do my actual academics and stuff. I don't have to worry about it later on tw being 20 something and rushing to get all this school schooling done when yet I'll be like 22 and I'll be able to be a labor and delivery nurse by then. And team six from Lordstown High School were the winners of the 14th annual JA Titan Business Challenge with each member taking home a $500 scholarship. 
David Myers, Austin Tyree and Mark Holliday took first in the competition that saw 41 area students going head to head in making business decisions as CEOs of their own virtual companies. The teams were given $2 million to start their own phone companies and were each given a mentor from a local business. The event took place at the Williamson College of Business Administration at Youngstown State University, which also offered a $1,000 scholarship to students who competed in the competition and will attend classes at Williamson this fall. And that is going to do it for this week's Brain Gain Brief. For more Brain Gain news, click Brain Gain under the Workforce Development tab at businessjournaldaily.com. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Boliterno. Brain Gain is sponsored by the Mahoney Valley Manufacturers Coalition, Eastern Gateway Community College, and these coalition members.